In just a few hours, President Donald Trump will speak to the country about why he deserves four more years in office. Now, breaking with tradition, he will make his pitch from the White House, bringing politics to the People's House. Devin Skillian joins us with a look ahead. And Devin, this is a big night for the president. It is, Karen. The president was originally supposed to accept his uh, renomination in a crowded convention center in Charlotte, North Carolina. And of course, the pandemic scrapped those plans. But now, in spite of critics raising ethics concerns, the president will give his speech on the South Lawn of the White House. 2,000 guests are expected to be there. Leading up to the president, we are going to hear from his personal attorney, Rudolph Giuliani, and first daughter, Ivanka Trump. Last night, Vice President Mike Pence accepted uh, the nomination to be again the VP during a fourth night of protests in Wisconsin over a controversial police shooting. All of this uh, providing a strange backdrop for what was going on in Washington. Pence argued President Trump is the person to bring order to our streets. But Michigan's top law enforcement official disagrees. Too many heroes have died defending our freedom to see Americans strike each other down. We will have law and order on the streets of this country for every American of every race and creed and color. The ironic part to me as serving as the top law enforcement official in this state is that from what I've seen in the last three and a half years, uh, all the Trump administration ever does is violate the law and undermine law and order. We would expect the debate over law and order and how to navigate the country's racial reckoning will, uh, to feature this evening and, the, and certainly in the weeks before the election, because once we get past the convention, then it's really a mad dash to election day. You can see the